when human immunodeficiency virus HIV emerged and was identified as the cause of acquired immunodeficiency syndrome AIDS, it was expected that a vaccine would be developed eventually. By over 30 years later, there is still no HIV vaccine. This is partly because there are many genetic variants of the virus. The virus is known for mutating and changing or recombining to create many new variations of itself. Infection with HIV is currently manageable with lifelong antiretroviral medications, but neither a vaccine nor a cure is available. A critical roadblock in preventative vaccine development has been the inability to induce B-cell lineages of broadly neutralizing antibodies B and AMPs that can combat rapidly evolving strains of the virus. As such, the aim has been to create a vaccine that can work against many kinds of HIV, or one that is broadly neutralizing. Scientists have now reported that a potential HIV vaccine was able to trigger the production of low levels of a rare type of broadly neutralizing antibody that worked against HIV. This small clinical trial was also performed in people. The findings, which were reported in cell, have shown that this vaccine can lead to the production of antibodies that fight different HIV strains, and it can do so within a few weeks. A trial HIV vaccine has triggered broadly neutralizing antibodies in humans after just two immunizations. The vaccine candidate developed at the Duke Human Vaccine Institute targets an area on the HIV-1 outer envelope called the Membrane Proximal External Region MPER, which remains stable even as the virus mutates. BNFs against this stable region in the HIV-1 outer coat can block infection by many different circulating strains of HIV-1. Discussing the decision to target the MPER of the HIV-1 outer envelope, scientists explains that the MPER is targeted by the broadest of the neutralizing antibodies. Researchers have isolated a version of MPER BNAVs from a person living with HIV that neutralized 99% of HIV strains, interfering with the interaction of the HIV-1 outer envelope with its host cell receptors BNFs interrupt viral replication through a mechanism that differs from most antiretroviral drugs. BNFs can augment host antiviral immune responses by engaging effector responses. Their long in vivo half-life and favorable safety profile make them attractive clinical application candidates. Potent BNFs develop in people living with HIV-1, but only rarely and after many months to years after transmission. One of the questions to be worried about for many years is if it will take years to induce BNABs with a vaccine like it takes for BNABs to develop in people living with HIV. In this study, scientists found that BNAB lineages develop after the second immunization. Since this is the first and only human trial that resulted in BNAB B cells getting to heterologous neutralization, this is a big proof of concept for being able to induce BNAPs quickly with a vaccine in humans. The research team analyzed data from the HVTN-133 Phase 1 clinical trial. 20 healthy, HIV-negative individuals enrolled in the trial. 15 participants received two or four planned doses of the investigational vaccine, and five received three doses. After two immunizations, the vaccine showed a 95% serum response rate and a 100% blood CD4 plus T cell response rate, indicating strong immune activation. Crucial immune cells remained in a state of development that allowed them to continue acquiring mutations so that they could evolve alongside the constantly changing virus. The trial was halted when one participant experienced a non-life-threatening allergic reaction. Researchers suspect that the allergic reaction was a reaction to polyethylene glycol pig and have studied such responses in vitro. Scientists have evidence that this is the case and have remade the vaccine as a pig less MPER peptide liposome for retesting in humans at lower doses. The latter lower doses because the vaccine worked better in the trial at the low dose. 
while scientists have been striving to produce an HIV vaccine since the 1980s, several features of the virus have made it difficult to develop an effective vaccine. A signature of HIV infection is its vast genetic diversity and the virus's ability to evolve rapidly within and between infected individuals. Scientists have identified that an effective HIV vaccine will need to be able to produce an immune response that can prevent infection by the diverse HIV strains circulating in the world. This work shows the feasibility of inducing antibodies with immunizations that neutralize the most difficult strains of HIV and has provided important insights into the design and feasibility of HIV-1 vaccine development efforts. Scientists have added additional regions of the MPER to give the response more potency and breadth. They have deleted PEG from the vaccine and have designed mRNA that boosts the responses induced by the original vaccine. The researchers stress there is still more work to be done to create a more robust response. They hope to replicate what was done in this research with immunogens that target the other vulnerable sites on the virus envelope. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our videos, subscribe to our channel for there's more to come.